No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Well, it's actually, you know, one of the greatest times to be alive because, you know, they're saying, as far as the church is concerned, we might be part of one of the greatest reformations uh, since Martin Luther, maybe even since the Book of Acts. You know, we're living in an age where, where Christians are restless. They want to give their lives to something. And, uh, you know, the walls of the church are, are crumbling down. It's not that we negate the local church, but it's that we advance the local church, taking what is inside beyond the four walls, dethroning demonic systems, demonic ideologies, and, you know, systemically establishing righteousness in every sphere of society. Th this is what I'm laboring for. This is what I'm putting a demand on heaven for. This is what we, the church, are contending for, to be able to truly fulfill the Great Commission and lay nations at, at the feet of Jesus. In the last decade or so, the church has been hearing and experiencing an undeniable emphasis on the necessity of local church members taking the gospel beyond the four walls. Whether it be the crisis of our young people abandoning the church in their late teens, or just the monotony of Christianity seemingly defined by the Sunday morning experience alone, it's apparent that something needs to change. The voice of restlessness among the sheep saying there must be more than this is loud and very clear. Pastor Derek Schneider and the History Makers Academy and now History Makers Society want to answer this cry. Inheritance is waiting for you. Your inheritance is not just the Sunday morning experience. Your inheritance is at your job. Your inheritance is a business. Your inheritance is the lives that you have changed because you made the word become flesh in you beyond just listening to another sermon. Hallelujah. Derek Schneider, an emerging young apostolic leader who had pastor for just over a decade when he received the call of God to help the church shift into what he describes as a driving force of influence in society. Well, to be honest, you know, we had been holding incredible services and meetings inside the church for years, yet I noticed there was little impact to our city and nation, the very people God has called us to, to bring the gospel to. So this just didn't make sense to me, and uh, it only was a short time before I became absolutely desperate to do something about it. It was at that time the History Makers Academy was born. The History Makers Academy is a cutting-edge training and equipping movement, inviting young and old to come discover their calling and fulfill their highest potential. It's not designed to take people away from the local church, but to assist the local church in training and preparing average individuals to make an above-average impact on every sphere of society. Well, amazingly, uh, people even say that three months, six months, after the training, the results have remained, the change within them has remained. And it's also important to note that at the Academy, there's not just the practical head knowledge that is given to the students, but also the supernatural. We, we have seen mental illness healed. We have seen uh, supernatural, you know, physical healings right there on site in the training. It's absolutely extraordinary. is really hard work with History Makers um, training, but don't let it frighten you because um, so much good comes of it. Comes of it and I, I just know I'm excited, really super excited to get home and put into practice the things that I've learned. It's been really practical. It's been not just concept or theology, but it's been um, really handed to you with some amazing handles on them so that you know that you can go home and transform your life and transform your world. Hence the name History Makers. My name is Aisha Francis and I've attended History Makers training level one and level two. History Makers training totally changed my life. It rocked my world. I was overwhelmed. I was shook. The foundation that I thought I had built was uprooted, but I left absolutely changed. There isn't a training like History Makers out there, but at History Makers training, we implemented on site. We were activated right there. And so I didn't leave with a plan to change. I actually left changed. This is probably the best thing I have done in all my life because um, 
there was so much of information and uh, just spiritual stuff that I knew obviously I've been pastoring for 15 years but I had come to a point where I had actually been telling God that I do not want to maintain a Christian club. Hi I'm John and I'm Marilyn Brooks and we took History Makers Level 1. It was an experience that definitely took you from operating in the natural and shifted you into the supernatural. It really changed our way of, of looking at God, of seeking God, of waiting for God's response. Don't you agree? I agree. And, and it totally changed our perspective of, of God being seen in us by the people that we see every day. So the weekend at History Makers really um, brought into focus some some amazing things. I obviously learned at an information level and at a, at a knowledge level. Um, there's that knowledge transfer, um, but also experientially. You're learning new stuff. I've been around. I, I went to seminary, and there's a lot of things that I learned at History Makers that I'd simply never heard before. Just took your mind and your level of thinking to a whole, you know, a, a whole new level. History Makers certainly does that, um, both in what you receive and what you're learning but also what you experience. With History Makers, we have this incredible opportunity to go really deep and have the same level, in my opinion, the same, the same level, the same caliber of speaker that we have right in our own area, which just uh, is mind-blowing that we, that we have that right here in Durham Region. It's transforming the person, um, but using the techniques and skills that so much of the motivational and business world have been able to use to bring out the best in their sales staff or, or the best in their, in their leadership, um, and then applying it to the everyday person. Experientially, I would say that there's nothing that I've learned in my lifetime as being a Christian that I could take home and apply as easily and as quickly as I did when, after I got home from history makers. To those people who want to make a difference in their life, you need to take this course. This is something that God grabs hold of you with and shakes. And all the dust and the stuff that you thought you were simply falls off and what's left is what's real. So it's not a point of making you something different, it's more a point of revealing what you can be. The academy curriculum and teaching seem to be endless. They cover various topics such as personal church and societal transformation principles, discovering your calling, starting national movements and social projects, and even a balanced understanding of supernatural living. They even have an extraordinary executive level leadership training covering system building, time focus management, and how to build an organizational business model. To date, at least 15 social projects and movements have been created by HMA grads, sparking interest from city, provincial officers, and others. The History Makers Academy is beginning to be seen as the Harvard of the Christian world and plan to be a catalyst in helping the church shift to a place where fulfilling the Great Commission is possible through the life of any believer. With the release of Pastor Derek's groundbreaking new book, Beyond the Four Walls, History Makers Academy and now also History Makers Society are creating quite a stir for God. What is the History Makers Society? The History Maker Society was founded by Derek Schneider and is made up of graduates from various History Maker Academy trainings who feel called to advance the Kingdom of God in every sociological sphere of life. The HM Society is not a church, but rather a movement designed to inspire the local church to return to a relevant, intensive discipleship, training and equipping that helps to fulfill the Great Commission of Matthew 28. The first History Maker Society Open House was held in June 2014 at the Durham UOIT campus building. The room was filled to maximum capacity, celebrating all of the community initiatives launched. Attendees included Oshawa City Councilor Doug Saunders, Mayor John Henry of the City of Oshawa, and our guest speaker Dan Carter, Executive Director of Chex TV. Do you believe that she knew that that one day that she was stopped in the middle of Times Square by an 11 year old boy to have lunch together to be able to sit down and just be able to listen to someone would play such a significant role in somebody's life? Something that seems so insignificant changed a man's life forever. Changed his fancy's life forever. A brown paper bag with his name on it changed his perception of others forever. 
You see, the History Makers course is not just about being equipped differently, but it's being prepared differently. You're being prepared that maybe next week, next month, a year from now, five years from now, you are going to be called at a certain moment, and because of the reason that you have equipped yourself, you've tooled up, you're ready to go, that you are able to do those great things and you won't even know that you were supposed to be prepared for this moment. In recognition of contributions to the City of Oshawa by History Maker Society members, the Mayor presented the Society with a plaque and held an open welcome to the City. We welcome History Maker Society into our community. October. I've been a Christian for about uh, three years, well, since 2009. And it was all good for the first couple of years. I was really soaking up the love of God. Uh, but yet I knew there was something deep inside that was missing. I knew there was more than just soaking the love of God. I knew that I could do more than just go to church. All right, so I've been searching. I was looking, I was praying, I was doing all sorts of stuff. I was asking around really how I could really demonstrate in a practical way outside the four walls of church how to demonstrate the love of God. And until I attended the History Makers training where I really got this boom. Oh, yeah. Right, this is it. Yeah. It was until attending History Makers training where I, was, I really got that zeal, I really got that passion spiritually, that just that confidence and just that faith that yes, I could do it, yes. Um, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, right? And not only did it help me spiritually, but the History Makers training also uh, helped me practically. It provided us, well, provided me with systems. It provided me with a blueprint on how to go out there. It provided me with, with resources on how to establish or how to start up this program. I Balance, what I Balance is, I Balance is a six-week free basketball program. Uh, reaching out to youth ages 14 to 17 uh, and through basketball we teach them life skills and values right because really the life skills and values those, that, that's the heart of God right we don't necessarily speak about Jesus or we are, don't necessarily uh, witness to those people but by, by teaching them the principles that's showing the side of God really One of the things that I placed uh, in the plan was that we were going to get ourselves into the mall. So we got ourselves in the mall. We have a kiosk in the mall. We did, um, I was only signed on for the month of May. Um, and I did it all by myself, seven days a week, all the hours. I had a sister that came um, a few nights and took a couple hours for me, but basically I did all the hours. So, And I have four kids, so it was really crazy. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, then um, I had said that I thought that we were going to go, and then they were um, really stoked on having us stay. So they moved us to a better location and are kind of like supporting it to try and keep us there, which is really encouraging and really awesome. Um, the thing that I'm excited about is because it's not just about fashion, it's never just been about fashion, it's about opening the door and having the opportunity to speak to people in our community and make them more aware. Um, I think that one of the things that really fuels human trafficking is that a lot of people um, are unaware of their value. Um, so being in the mall has given us, just through the um, through showing our clothing, has given the opportunity to have conversations with people. Not only educate them about human trafficking, but we do get with a lot of young women that are coming over and talking to us and um, just had like really good opportunities to tell, to you know speak to them on like a, on a level that maybe they wouldn't be able to speak to so it's 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 really been awesome so buddy with seniors was a program that was built on two godly principles basically basically love and honor now Leviticus 19.32 says, Stand up in the presence of the aged, show respect for the elderly, and revere your God. Our objective is not only to honor our seniors and love on them, 
but it's to teach this generation to do the same. Through regular church services, one-on-one -on -one visits, and special events, we have the opportunity to build strong relationships and show God's love at a critical time. As Patrick always says, this, these seniors are in God's waiting room. During the History Makers, there was a portion of homework that needed to be completed, and in that, I got this download for a organization and created a system at History Makers, and it was a, a very loose loosely created system at the point you know it wasn't fully developed but it was this idea to start an organization that would assist families who have been impacted by incarceration light up your world is a program where we go into the classroom into some really really dark dark environments you know what the classroom and um Durham region is like. There's a lot of really rough areas in town and we show up with the light of Jesus. And we go into the classroom and we look at these kids and we first of all, we awaken them. agencies, I assist people who have been able to negotiate their, uh, their debts, like to settle them or to negotiate them down. I help them with refinancing and there's like so many incredible things. I get an opportunity to go into people's homes and pray with them. Mm -hmm. uh, how many of you know that, you know, like uh, I guess uh, managing money poorly can ruin a relationship or ruin a family or ruin a marriage, yeah. right? It's probably the number one cause of, uh, you know, marriages and relationships failing today, right? So, you know, when uh, well, God blesses me with the opportunity. I haven't advertised. I don't have business cards. I don't have a website. Nothing. All my business has come from referrals since I finished History Makers. Awesome. You know, like yes. this. You know. <laughs> so my name is Tia, and before History Makers, I was in the entertainment industry, and I found out my calling was in the industry at a very young age. So. I was pursuing that, but then I took a lot of notice to like, you know, the negativity and the horrible stuff that was going on on TV, on screen, behind the screen, in celebrities' lives. I'm looking up to these people and I'm like, why aren't they making an impact on my life? They're wasting their influence. So I'm like, okay, so I'll become the role model. I'll be the light in the industry. So um, I've just been doing that, being on set, working you know, as an actor and model, and I really didn't know how to like take on the entertainment industry. Started with History Makers, and then literally like after a month, I got a huge download software revelation um, of an agency. So what an agency is, is it's um, a business that holds, that manages actors, models, performers, you know, anyone on screen. <clears throat> agency sends them out to their jobs, and you know, that's how they're on TV, that's how you see them in movies. And so I'm like, oh, okay, an agency, yeah. And then the Lord's like, you can mentor and duplicate yourself so that you're not the only one trying to be a light and inspiration in the industry. While the History Makers Academy has been helping churches and apostolic centers shift into a beyond the four walls mindset, the HM Society's goal is to see church reformation in our generation and to help in the rebranding of Christianity in a North American context. Members of the History Maker Society all take part in fulfilling the Great Commission through establishing relevant ministries and social programs to solve societal problems. They believe that the church is called by God to bring answers to society and establish the kingdom of God in every sphere of life. The History Maker Society is made up of people from all walks of life, young and old, who have experienced incredible breakthrough in their lives and ministries through the academy training and equipping module. This also includes students who receive monthly and even weekly online training through online webinars and seminars. With hundreds of graduates now able to testify about how God is using them to establish righteousness in their cities and communities, these results have been called unbelievable yet undeniable. For more information on how you can take an upcoming training and join the movement, Visit our website at www.historymakersacademy.com.